Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Yes, there is some construction sound in the backdrop. I do apologize for that. I have no control over those sounds, right? So if possible, please ignore those sounds. So what is going on in Leo's love life? What is going on in Leo's love life? you you are experiencing some major major change you know it feels like the type of energy where the old is collapsing away and you're making way for the new it feels like there's a big shift that is happening in your life there's a very big dedication and devotion on your part to set upon a new pathway for yourself i feel like you're actively playing a very big role in determining your future and in deciding your fate now, the energies are indicating to me that um, there's a willingness on your part to try to establish, you know, what is going to make you feel a sense of happiness during this time. So what I do see here is that there's this type of uh, energy that you're bringing to the table where you're taking your own fate, your own destiny in your hands and you're deciding for yourself that you're going to be making the decisions that are important to you, that relate to your purpose, to your destiny and um, to the path that you are on, right? Now, what is connecting the two of you? I feel like there's an energy which is indicating moving away from something, right? There's something that happened in the past that might have caused a lot of pain and might have caused a lot of sadness. I feel like there's an energy here which is indicating a deep desire to try to, um, you know, leave certain things behind or to move in a different sort of direction when it comes to your life, when it comes to your happiness as well. I feel like the energies are indicating in this situation that, um, you know, there's been a lot of spilled milk. There's been a lot of instances where you've given a certain situation, a lot of your time, a lot of your energy. And um, I feel like, you know, there's this element of recognizing that you can feel nostalgic for certain things or certain people. You can feel a sense of attachment to certain situations because you've made memories with people, you know, or one specific person. But at some point in time, you have to ask yourself, is, um, you know, some connections worth holding on to? And uh, what lies ahead for you? It feels like that sort of energy. Now, your person's energy is coming off as uh, showing up in light of an individual that is going out, enjoying themselves, could be enjoying the company of their friends, could be enjoying the company of other people that they're meeting. I feel like this individual is sort of playing this down. I'm also getting the impression here that this individual... Um, you know, it makes it seem as if they're following their instinct, they're following what they want to do at this point in time. So they're very focused on their own objectives, they're very focused on their own agenda during this time. I feel like this individual is going out and about and you might be aware of it, you might be aware of the fact that this individual is um, socializing with new people, meeting up with new people, getting to know new people, things of that sort. And uh, for some of you it might phase you, for others it might be to the point where you're just witnessing it happen. And, um, you know, it feels like the type of energy where there's um, sort of water under the bridge. I do get that sort of impression, yeah. Let's get some clarity. the way that these energies are showing up are giving me an indication of the fact that this person, you know, a lot of what they're doing has to do with you, whether you choose to believe it or not. 
It feels like it could be a front. I'm getting the impression yet yeah, that this individual has a lot of things going on. They could be meeting new people. They could be, um, you know, thinking about this connection at the same time. But it feels as if they're trying to push it right to the furthest part of their mind. They're trying to, um, you know, distract themselves. I feel like that's the energy here. I feel like this individual does, you know, recognize the fact that the two of you have an amazing connection. When things are going well, it goes really well. The chemistry is off the charts I do pick that up from this individual but there's a playfulness that comes across from this person uh, that is also showing up here and you might have recognized this in this individual's personality they might be the type of individual that's hard to get to settle down they might you know like to enjoy themselves do whatever makes them feel a sense of happiness but it feels like this individual is taking things very light-heartedly during this time it's almost like they are wanting to enjoy themselves, wanting to do whatever makes them feel good at this moment. Yeah, in terms of what's connecting the two of you, I feel like there's been a lot of um, hard lessons learned between both you and this individual concern. And these are the type of lessons that have stressed you out and stressed this individual out. I feel like for the most part, both you and this individual have a very playful side to your personalities, you know. Uh, I feel like when the two of you are in each other's company, you know, um, there could be a lot of laughter, there could be a lot of uh, giggles, there could be a lot of um, fun times, you know. I feel like Spirit is trying to say that the two of you know how to have a good party. But when it comes to dealing with the harder parts of the connection or the more difficult and challenging aspects of being in a relationship, someone sort of withers away or doesn't really give their full attention or give their full, um, you know... Uh, sort of energy into it so that could be one of the difficulties or challenges that you're facing with this person all right you're definitely very dedicated towards a new beginning here, Leo. I can definitely pick that up from your energy. And I feel like you want a fresh start. I feel like there's an energy which is indicating that you don't want anything to get in your way. You're very determined in terms of how you want to move forward. I get that in terms of the situation. This person is um, trying to play it down, trying to make it seem as if it's not affecting them. It's not bothering them. It's not... Um, you know, going to uh, be a big thing for them. So I do get that to a very large extent that this individual is trying to make it seem as if nothing big is happening. But this could be an act of pretense. This could be something that is, uh, you know, just an individual putting on a show. It feels like that. But I do see this individual surrounded by other people. I see this individual surrounded by um, different sort of energies. And it feels like it's it's like an illusion, you know. And um, there's there's definitely that aspect to it. It's not very, um, you know, pleasant when you have to hear construction sound as well as you know, the voices inside of your head, what spirit is trying to communicate. If this continues, I may have to move to the other room. So we'll see. You know, when you move to a small city, you don't really expect for there to be like construction sounds and things like that. There's a lot of buildings that are coming up in this uh, sort of tiny city, uh, but um, there's not a lot of demand for it. So I find that very interesting in terms of um, how these constructors are going about building buildings that are just empty at this point in time. So I feel like in terms of your person's energy, their, their emotions are you know, not being taken very seriously by themselves. I feel like there's this element of them not wanting to face certain aspects of their own um, personality. I feel like there's certain parts of them that they're just pushing right off to the furthest part of their mind and not wanting to deal with it. It feels like that sort of energy. I feel like that's why this individual is creating all these distractions around them. Right. I feel like in terms of what's connecting the two of you, there's a sense of uh, certain plans 
that were made, but someone was very deeply attached to the outcome of the plans. I feel like there's an energy of reflecting upon the situation, but there wasn't much space between the two of you in order for those plans to be put into effect. It feels like that type of energy where there was this element of someone, you know, choking the other person. It feels like claustrophobia, a fear of, you know, losing one's independence as well is coming across here very heavily. I feel like one individual constantly made their life or their lifestyle a priority compared to this connection. And some of you may have had enough because you felt as if you were enough for this person and they should have made this connection more of a, you know, um, something of great importance to them. Yeah, some of you are putting an end to um, uh, something very close, near and dear to your heart. Uh, you could have been married to this individual. Others, um, you know, if you were in a third party situation or extramarital situation, you could be deciding to get out of that as a possibility there. I'm just going to interpret it as the interpretations show up because what I get from Spirit right now is that your person is all over the place, right? Uh, they're definitely running from the emotions or not dealing with their deeper emotions. I see the energies connecting the two of you. There's this sense of uh, sort of trying to run away from the past because someone is feeling very stressed out uh, by certain realizations or certain sort of things that have come to the forefront. I feel like plans didn't really take shape or take form because someone was very controlling you. Someone was trying to, um, you know... Uh, uh, force another person to be something or to do something that they didn't want to do this could be you this could be your person's energy it could be a combination of your energy and your person's energy and uh, your energy is showing to me that there's um, a determination to prove a point to this individual and to get your message across very strongly that either you don't need them or that they are not responsible for your happiness and that you will do well without them if they are part of your life or are not a part of your life. I get that very heavily from you right now. So I'm going to explore these energies in greater detail. I'm going to look at your person's mind, heart and soul energy. What exactly is your person running from? Um, what really contributed to these issues that have come up? We did to pick up on control issues and things like that. But how do you overcome those factors? And what does the future hold for you? Because you're very determined to go towards a new beginning right now. How is that going to play out and where it's going to lead you? What does Spirit have to say with regard to that? I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care, Leo.